Well, this week, Lincoln is going to respond to old Horace's letter from last week calling him out on his policies about the war. Surprisingly, Horace doesn't get arrested, and uh, it actually looks like we're going to have a sort of offensive campaign by Granny Lee. Hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me, as always, is Prospector Johnny. And, and Johnny, it, it, it's it's a storming uh, out oh. here in my cabin. So I um, hope, uh, hope not anywhere our boys in blue are, making it harder for them. And I hope it is storming also down south to make it harder. Dirty, for dirty them. rebels are. So uh, maybe, maybe it's just in the free states that it's going to storm, and then uh, we'll be fine because we're yeah. not fighting up here. Well, uh, uh, you know, so I apologize for that noise in the background there, but uh, we gotta we gotta work with what we got. Anyways, Johnny, this week is gonna open up on the twenty second with President Lincoln responding to Horace Greeley's letter in his paper, calling out Lincoln's policies in the war and slavery as being futile and pointless. So Lincoln uh -oh. is gonna respond. Surprisingly, doesn't doesn't actually arrest Horace. He just writes a letter oh. back to the editor himself, oh. uh, which I will read. Uh, I'll just, I'm sure read it to you. Yeah, and, let's, and uh, let's hear it. I have, yeah. I have not seen this. And I quote here. It says, I would save the Union. I would save it in the shortest way under the Constitution. The sooner the national authority can be restored, the nearer the Union will be. And I quote here the union yeah. it was if i could save the union without oh, freeing any yeah. slave i would do it and if i could save it by freeing all the Back slaves up. i hold on we got he's got a whole thing you gotta let me finish the whole thing just don't focus in on one thing here johnny we finished the whole I, thing okay he says well, it's like a striking thing though but okay well, i know I mean, we'll get there he said if i could save the union without freeing any slave i would do it and if i could save the union by freeing all the slaves i would do it and if i could save the union by freeing some and leaving others alone i would also do that uh, so first, my first point here, uh, don't think we read the same Constitution because this dude is literally arresting people who said, man, maybe the South's not doing that bad of a job. Um, also, the point you're getting on there is... Um, uh, Do you want to know what I, ha I think happened? What, what's that, Johnny? I don't think... He wrote this, right? Or Titan, mm -hmm. did he... Yeah, uh, um, Telegraph, I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he doesn't like to go back and edit things. And so I think he said, "I, you know what, I'll, I, I don't even care about freeing the slaves. I'll rejoin the union, whatever, as long as it rejoins the union." And then he caught himself. He said, "Oh, wait, I no, can't scratch that." I mean, yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, want to free. I want to free. But them then all. also, if they were all free, but then also if some, I just, you know, I just, I just want a union again. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I, you yeah. know, it wasn't about actually, <laughs> you know, yeah. giving what a shit he's, about. Uh... Oh. What he's trying to say is okay. basically he just wants to preserve the union any way possible. Yeah, is what uh, he's trying to get. Uh, it's try, he's trying to get out. There is a 0% chance that in the way distant future that these words are going to be construed to mean anything else or to be used as an argument about how racist Lincoln actually was or wasn't. So. Well, no, I mean, he's clearly not racist. I mean, he's like... At this point, he's trying to get a second term, probably yeah, a little bit. Like, a, little to find... a little early to try to fight that, but maybe. Uh, uh, it's never too early, Tommy. Never You'll see in the campaign. future. It's never too early to keep campaigning uh, through your presidency. <laughs> And Johnny, skirmishing is also going to continue on this day between Pope and Lee's armies with no real battles taking place. The Sioux, uh, don't forget about them, uh, they're going to continue, oh, yeah. their, uh, they're going to continue their, their rebellion here and attack Fort Ridgely for a second time. Uh, and being repulsed again uh, for a second time. All right, so our northern forts, despite n uh, not want, like fighting a war up there, they're still well defended and well staffed. Uh, they're at least to fighting the Indians okay, well the enough. Sioux, yeah, yeah. Um, which is good. Um, yeah, sorry for the shininess. It's hot as hell. Yeah, out oh, yeah, it's, it's a hot uh, one. Storms storm bringing the humidity. Yep. Uh, in this busy day, Johnny, it's going to come to an end with Butler enlisting free men of color as federal soldiers. So. I'm sure that's going to go well when it reaches word to Lincoln that he's enlisting them as soldiers and not just uh, uh, not soldiers labor. who dig ditches, right? Yeah, like just the, actual gun in hand, going to gonna arm them and then uh, use them how they ought to be used yeah, perhaps, because they're yeah. angry and probably uh, um, uh, strong enough and healthy enough to, <laughs> <laughs> to, do, to do just that. <laughs> do All the damage the... they need to do. <laughs> on the 23rd, Johnny, we have skirmishing in every front of the war. This is the day of skirmishing. This is a day of pot shots everywhere with no actual no battle. No, no battle? 
but pot shots everywhere. Yes, we've got uh, Confederates stealing a train in Virginia that was traveling between Winchester and Harper's Ferry, while more skirmishing is going to occur in Virginia at Rappahannock Station, Beverly Ford, Faints Ford, Smithfield, and Sulphur. In Western Jesus. Virginia, they are skirmishing at... Johnny, bear with me. They're skirmishing at Moorefield in Western Virginia. In Tennessee, they're skirmishing at Fort Donaldson. Remember that fort that we took back a few months ago? Yep. Yep, yep there's skirmishing back, there. That back at shooting at it. At in, out in Kentucky, there is skirmishing at Big Hill uh, with one down in Greenville, Mississippi. Alabama is going to get in on the action with skirmishing at Trinity. And Louisiana Bayou says, hey, 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 don't forget about us when there's fighting at Bayou Sarah. And let's not forget about Missouri, Johnny, our favorite front of the war, where there's going to be fighting at Wayman's Mill, Hickory Grove, and Four Mile. Jesus Christ, where isn't their fighting on this day? Cause but not battles. Not battles, just pop Any shots. casualties? Yeah, oh yeah, casualties, yeah. I don't have numbers for you, John. Okay, so, uh, hey, well, all right, what's the threshold for a battle, then? Like, how many people got to die? I, I mean, I'd mean, I say at least 100 people got to bite it. That's in it? a single I, uh, engagement, I would say at least 100. 100. 100 people, 100 human lives that's that could be lost that's to be a battle. Yeah, Otherwise, that's, that's, it's a skirmish. That's based on nothing uh, no, no, yeah, my, that's my out of your opinion. pocket. Just, yeah, I'm going to say yeah, it's got to be a hundred people or more to die before um, we go. Okay, what kind of train did they take at the beginning? Oh, it, was, it was a supply train. Supply yeah, train. train, okay. I, that's, yeah. okay. I just yep, didn't yep, yep. know if they went full on like uh, train robber at this point. No, no, why I mean, not? it wasn't. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there were some some uh, uh, civilian cars, perhaps. In sure, there, but, sure, but, sure. Yeah, sure. but it's not. But they they were doing it for the supplies on account of not. Yep, not having supplies. Yep. The 24th is going to see the CSS Alabama being commissioned in the Atlantic near the Azores, uh, where it's going to receive its armaments and supplies. This is the vessel that they bought from the English and renamed. Oh, uh, so now they're, the uh, and now it's, they're now building it up now. Of it. No, they, yeah, okay. they've taken possession of it, put the guns and the ammunition on it. Yeah, it brought now, it into their docks, stapled on the guns, and then uh, said, yeah, it's a warship. And uh, for some reason, we're still trying to find it. In the sea yeah. because it's gone so yeah, well this, for uh, so far that we have completely obliterated all of our navy. In this uh, in this vessel here, it's not uh, it's not going to be directly engaging the U.S. Navy. Uh, you know at the front in the United States anywhere. Uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be engaging merchant vessels on shipping lanes back and forth across the Atlantic. So this is just a pirate That's ship. A pirate ship on the open Atlantic seas, just what? being a pirate. So. I mean, I guess, I guess, who, who, who the hell cares now? Because uh, in their uh, Confederate States of America, I guess any law can apply, and maybe uh, piracy is a branch of their corrupt, traitorous, horrible, awful, despicable government. That could. Could be, could be Johnny. On the 25th, the Union is going to finally take some of those free soldiers of color and do more than just use them as manual labor. As the Secretary of War, Edwin Unreal. Stanton, is going to authorize so the Southern Department to receive into service 5,000 men of free or free men of color to be mm -hmm. trained and armed, where they will act as guards to captured plantations and settlements. And the irony on this, Johnny, is just oh my god, that's oh, I love just it. beautiful. Oh, I love it. I, and but I mean also I, I, not only just for the pure revenge like obvious aspects of it but uh, it's smart because they know the plantations they know how they operate they know where things are located they know how to get in out through around everywhere like they know what they're doing around a plantation not a it's not uh, a bad plant and so you skirts. have basically spies that are also soldiers going yeah. in for you. It also kind of skirts around that whole, like, we don't want a regiment of, of free men of color to, like, be on the battlefield. It's kind of... Right, because now, now, now they're just our land pirates. Yeah, but it frees up... <laughs> yeah, it, there are kind of land... But it frees, because it frees we're kind of scum, too, let's face it. Well, yeah. It frees up... Well, <laughs> there are saints and sinners of both both sides of this war. That's, 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 what are you going to do? That's for sure, yeah. What are you going to do? It does free up other soldiers to be used instead of, you know, doing guard detail. They can be freed up to go to the front line somewhere there you else. go so okay it's, it's, it's kind of what it does yeah it frees up those uh white men who are uh obviously mm -hmm. better uh, uh well, in all ways than sure uh, the black troops uh so that's good 
Um, and Lee is going to begin an offensive campaign when he has Stonewall Jackson followed by Longstreet move north from the Rappahannock uh, up towards uh, Manassas Junction. And that name might sound a little bit familiar yeah, to we had a, because we had a battle there. there. Right? A little skirmish? A little bit ago. Well, no, that was a battle battle. <laughs> uh, what did we, you went there, Johnny. You, I you, did. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you got oh, your souvenir gun there, there somewhere. Yep. Yeah. I see that right you're putting here. it to good use just sitting got there. Got this around. bad boy. Yeah, yeah. You got oh, that I mean, what, what do I, what do we think I can afford ammunition right now, Tommy? Like, what, 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 else, what am I going to do with it? Yeah, it hasn't gone through the roof, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to sell it for a mining pan, likely. There you go. On the 26th, the offensive uh, campaign of Lee is going to move uh, uh, underneath Confederate cavalry Fitzhugh Lee, which is kind of a cool name. Fitzhugh Lee. Fitzhugh Lee? Where's yeah, Fitzhugh Lee? Uh, they're going to take a rail junction okay. at Manassas Junction. And it looks like there may be a battle of Bull Run 2.0 in our very, very near oh, future. Sh should I go back? Do I Maybe. I, I don't. I don't. It did go so <laughs> are, well are there the spectators time. this Maybe. time? I maybe uh, maybe if me, the crowd's smaller. I don't know. Let me uh, let me let me finish up my notes here, Johnny. I think you might not want to go back. Uh, the result is that Confederates are going to capture several hundred Union soldiers, a good amount of quartermaster and commissary supplies. Meanwhile, Pope is completely and totally oblivious to everything that's going on, and Why? is just like sitting there going, "Well, I mean, I don't think Lee's moving there, even though he's actively attacking it. I'm going to stay where I'm at." Did he not have scouts? Apparently not any good ones, or at least he's not listening to them. Is he, um, like, is he not sending people out on a horse to go look for things and be, be like, maybe, I don't know, figure well, out where the Confederates are moving? It takes him a whole Put day, Put up John. one of those uh, uh, little balloon things? Yeah, maybe one of those, the, yeah, the hot air balloons. Yeah, yeah. At, uh, at, uh, on the 27th, he's finally going to see that, that he has been outflanked and, uh, and that Lee is now... <laughs> Uh, oh no! You know, kind of above him, and that maybe he needs to do something <laughs> about that. So he's going to abandon his positions on the Rappahannock and move north towards Manassas Junction himself. All right. Because... Uh, so so okay, but so Lee, he was he's here. Lee moved north of him, and then he's like, yeah, uh, broop, yeah. I'm gonna move more north. <laughs> Well, he, he's going to try to meet Lee there at uh, at Manassas Junction. Okay, try to get to yeah, him. So just try to okay, to, and that's to make it so he's fighting one army and not being flanked and pinched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and the funny thing here, uh, just the funny thing here, Johnny, is that um, uh, th uh, this entire time, Lincoln is trying to get a hold of Pope and is unable to because the telegraph like, lines have been cut. Or, you know, uh, so Lincoln is forced to contact Burnside and say, hey, uh, Burnside, what the, what the shit is going on? Yeah. Because literally half of Lee's army is now in between Pope and Washington, and that's not supposed to happen. McClellan is still down one trying job, to like, right? evacuate. Yeah, one job. This is one uh, job guy who... McClellan, who's supposed to be the army that's, like, protecting Washington, Wait, is still trying we, to evacuate his army and is... We know why he's got, shit. Yeah, nowhere to be found uh, 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 there. Oh, no, he so. didn't come to a rescue and, and charge in uh, with his cavalry da, 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 no, and not, save not, everything? Not happening, Johnny. Uh, and mm -hmm. literally, while all this is going on, uh, Jackson and his men are going to begin trashing Manassas because I think they forgot that they're still in Virginia and this is your people's land, but they are, like, burning down storehouses. They're tearing up buildings, tearing up rail lines. They're like, ah, fuck this place. <laughs> And all, 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 all the citizens running out, be like, "Wait, no, we like you, we support you. You're all, you're us. It's same thing, same same. We're good. It's same fine. Thing. Like, what are you doing? But, but not the, not the same thing. thing but right? now you're. I, that's a hard way. Maybe uh, they will join up with the western portion of Virginia and be like, "Hey, yeah, perhaps uh, we get it, guys. Yeah, we we, we, totally, <laughs> like, we, we understand. We understand. That. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're kind of assholes." Yeah. Over the night of the 27th into the morning of the 28th, Pope has started to move north towards Manassas with Jackson pulling out of Manassas towards uh, Warrenton Turnpike just west of the Bull Run Battlefield because he realizes he's going to be outnumbered and doesn't want to wait for an attack, so he's going to move to a better position here. Okay. Pope is going to arrive at Manassas Junction around noon on the 28th to find it completely Whoa. abandoned by the Confederates. Okay. That makes sense because some tables upturned and some buildings burned. Yeah, uh, well, that makes sense because all battles, as we have experienced, uh, start at 5 a.m. or earlier. 
Yeah, he got so there. You show up there at way noon. Too late. Yeah, nah, show up way too I mean, late. Come yeah. on, you're too, way late. too late. What are you doing here? Uh, Pope is confused as to where the enemy possibly could have gone, so he's going to order his scattered <laughs> army. Because he didn't to show up till noon. Yeah, because he didn't show up till noon. <laughs> uh, he's going to order his scattered <laughs> army. They to could have gone literally anywhere. Could have gone anywhere. But any, anywhere in the world. He he picks Centerville as the point where he goes. Well, I think they're there based on why things. I don't. He's got conflicting reports as to where. Did they're, he put like, his some scouts ear like to the ground? There. Some scouts are like they're there. Mm-hmm. So he goes. Centerville mm-hmm. is where I'm going because yep. it's mm-hmm. in the center. Maybe okay. uh, on his way to Centerville, he's actually going to get attacked by Jackson's men near Groveton Farm, resulting in heavy casualties. Oh, uh, Longstreet. Not a skirmish. Not a skirmish. Longstreet and Lee are going to arrive at the west of uh, uh, yeah, west of Jackson's forces, only to be briefly engaged by Pope's forces. Where then Longstreet and Lee go, well, we don't really have to deal with this pissly ass tiny force so they go around it and link up with jackson so now lee's entire <laughs> army is in one place while pope is going where could they be just so brilliant lee's whole ass general ship uh I, this lee guy first of all he's doing the things uh kudos um uh, he's lottery- definitely Correcting his recruit? reputation from early in the war when he was I fighting mean, in Western Virginia and got the whole Granny Lee. Uh, right, I, 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 I'm pretty bit. sure I, I trashed him for that. And yeah, we did. I'm yeah. sorry, because uh, you're doing some shit now. But uh, can you imagine having an army and then having another one come up on you and just be like, ah, you know what? I don't want to lose ten men, so I'm gonna bounce around you. <laughs> <laughs> and just fight the next spot. Like, it, uh, it, 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 uh, and just fight it. Yeah, they're just fighting the next army. They're like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go level up to the next one. Please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, pretty much. Um, <laughs> you you do not meet my difficulty level here. <laughs> uh, now it looks like, Johnny, these, these two armies, uh, you know, Lee's army and Pope's army, are finally going to be set up for an actual Boy, battle to be had okay. in the morning, an actual legit Shit. final battle between these two armies. It's been months and months and Maybe months out final. in Virginia in like, the East. Uh, no, this is, we can't avoid this. This is, this is too No, like, no, like, but I'm just saying maybe the last one. Well, <laughs> if it is the last one, I uh, do We do a whole lot of us. shooting at each other, I have bouncing no back, hopes. and then coming back again. I have no hopes for Pope. After all of what's happened right now, there is like zero, zero hope for Pope. Well, that's unfortunate battle. because hope for Pope is a brilliant sign. Uh, yeah, but I don't have hope for Pope. No, no hope for Pope is no a hope. disheartening sign. Yeah, it is a very disheartening one. Uh, Johnny, but we're going to have to wait till next week uh, to hear if there is actually a battle because, you know, obviously the week's over here on the 28th. So yeah, obviously. Don't know. Uh, but I do have I do have uh, three points here to end the week. Uh, first, Confederate General Braxton Bragg is going to begin to move his army from Tennessee into Kentucky. So it looks Uh-oh. like we're opening He's up invading Kentucky the North. Kentucky front. Hold on, wait, why? Uh, why? Are they trying to take the North back? What's going on here? Well, like, I they think... understand their position is like just chill as a nation, be a separate nation. But now they're freaking coming into the North. U- actual United States of America. Yeah, Kentucky, <laughs> uh, to remind those at home, Kentucky is a part of the Union. It did not secede. It is a part of the Union. It yeah. attempted to maintain... No, there are boys. Yeah, attempted to maintain neutral until the Confederates violated that neutrality by bringing in troops into Kentucky before the Union did, so there's there's that. I mean, that's and, also probably um, why Western Virginia is, like, they're... Yeah, seceded. <laughs> From the Confederacy, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. like it's like it's you know we draw these lines with the states, but the lines aren't hard lines. No, these they're are not just hard lines. Folks in a gradient coming whoop through it, and that western bit maybe why what maybe Kentucky just should have like uh, absorbed them. What's the opposite of seceded? Uh, wow, well, well, they're trying to form their own state. I don't think I don't think they want to be a part of Kentucky. I think they want to be their own thing. Uh, uh, these these Appalachian boys, they're 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 a weird breed. But anyways, Johnny, another point here. Uh, ah. H.H. Sibley is going to relieve Fort Ridgely in an attempt to end the Sioux Rebellion. So we're now bringing Union reinforcements up Back there to uh, yeah. okay. uh, to end that that little bit of rebellion. All right, all right, all right. The Confederates bribed the Sioux to attack us, right? Maybe. I mean, they did try to like. No, bribe. I didn't. Yeah, all right. I know you're in the government, so you got to be like, oh, I'm careful with my words, but <laughs> it worked. It did. They probably are like, oh, yeah, you know what? Hey, 
Um, you go ahead and attack the north, and we will give you literally all of uh, that New England area. You know that that bit they took at the beginning, thirteen colonies. Yeah, you have it back. Yeah, you have it back. That's yours. Uh, I'm gonna go I ahead. Have and it back. <laughs> Wait, what do you? you take it from yeah, Johnny, I'm gonna go ahead and assume oh, shit. Uh, here that this one might have been on us because we stopped feeding them on the reservation. But in you any think case, that's a problem? Is that an issue? Yeah, it might be an issue. Yeah, are you supposed final... to? Okay, wait. So hold up. All right, you take an entire people's land, put them in a place, uh, and, and 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 just just close them, them off. Yeah, and then you have to feed them too. Yeah, you're still supposed to feed them. Yeah, still I'm sorry. I thought them. these were the people that taught us how to farm. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> is, is it just the land we took? Stories we learn on? in school. Or I don't. What are we? Okay, Johnny. Final note here. Final note here on this whole week. Uh, this fun-filled week here. Uh, uh, Bell Boyd. <laughs> super during, fun, Tommy. I had so fun. much fun. Uh, do you remember great. Bell? Uh, do you remember Bell Boyd from a couple weeks I ago? I do we remember on her. Yeah, yes, she's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. um uh, in jail. Dirty, dirty Confederate spy. Uh, that our uh, yeah. pitiful, month ago pitiful Union boys can't resist. Yeah. Well, she's gonna be released today as a part of a prisoner exchange. What? Uh, citing lack of evidence. So not. So. So not only. Not only. Is she committing treason? Yes. Which Lincoln doesn't like. He's like, uh, even if you're pro-Confederate, dead, basically. Yeah. In yeah. jail. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Not only is she committing treason, she is uh, getting arrested for that. Yes. Right? 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 Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, she's getting a- escaped. Getting yes. out somehow. Somehow. Um, Jays. Yeah. And now... Um, she got arrested again, but then they uh, let her out for lack of evidence, which means that the boys who caught her. Hanny J's. With evidence. <laughs> What's a J? Can you describe that? Uh, uh, not on TikTok, I can't. Or not TikTok, YouTube, whatever <laughs> channel I'm on. Yeah, no, no, there. Yeah, well, yeah, well. Holy cow, this, she must. Be quite the uh, striking young lady. She, uh, she she must be Johnny. But we're gonna have to see and wait next week to see what happens there in Bull Run. But I imagine that uh, next yeah. week is gonna start with a little bit of a battle. That's it for this week in Civil War in Hindsight. If you enjoy Civil War in Hindsight, check out Historic Hindsight. We'll talk about all kinds of fun things like Bell Boyd, uh, you know, escaping detention by giving out her handy J's. And, uh, you know, like the Siege of Plevna, where we talk about how repeating rifles were a thing but weren't really a thing in the battle. Eh, just go watch our shit. You'll like it.